Have you ever wondered, what is my purpose in this lifetime? <laughs> I think we've all been there. Um, I'm Lisa Beachy. How are you? This is with um, a couple different angels, actually, but Archangel Jeremiah is really great for this. Jeremiah can help us with life review. He can help us with past lives. Uh, Raziel can really help bring us purpose and faith. Archangel Nathaniel. Like, there's so many angels to call on for this. But the truth is, if you are really like, I don't know why I'm here, what I'm supposed to be doing. It just feels like everything is falling apart or everything's changing. And I just thought I had a purpose or maybe you just have always been a little wondering what is my purpose besides being an awesome human, which you're succeeding at. Hello, <laughs> right? The fact that you're even trying to work with angels to figure it out, you're pretty awesome. So let's first and foremost in this video work with Archangel Jeremiah, Jeremiah and Nathaniel. We'll say Nathaniel too, because Nathaniel helps give us life purpose. He can, but you know, when we work with Nathaniel, it's really like a clearing of the decks and move forward. A lot of us are going through that right now. Some of you are going through job layoffs, divorces, ending of contracts. Some of you guys are quitting, getting fired, letting go. Some of you are like needing to change your financial structures of things. Your whole way of living or the way you feel you were living is ending. So Nathaniel already a lot of times has a big say in that. Clear the decks. Let's lay up some new goals and move forward. Especially at this time on the planet, a lot of us are switching gears and we're leveling up like we are getting serious. So if you're watching this, awesome. You're in the right direction. I would work with Nathaniel. Archangel Jeremiah helps us look in the past. He helps us do a life review. He, you know, they can help us. Jeremiah can help us kind of say, okay, what's going on? How's it moving forward? What am I here to do? But he helps through life review. And a lot of times that is when we don't understand why relationships didn't work, why jobs don't work, why the people at work are so ugh, right? Why am I so unhappy in this relationship or situation? A lot of times you've just outgrown it or you've learned the lesson, but you're staying in it because it's just dysfunctionally warm and cozy and you can predict the situation. So it's better than nothing, right? A lot of times Jeremiah helps you acknowledge the lesson, whether you need to keep it or not, and how to move on. And as soon as you do that, he can help you find the right therapist. He can help you find the right counselor, life coach, the reading that you need, whatever it is, the right book, the right podcast. He can really help you get in a direction. They, Jeremiah always uses the algorithm, all the angels do, but the algorithm to figure out, okay, what do I need to learn? Spoiler, it's usually... What's the common denominator in all these crappy relationships? That's what I had to do. I had to be like, wait a minute. When is it not, when it's like the same reoccurring what you don't like about people or situations, time to look at where you're doing that yourself or where you're doing it to yourself. So Jeremiah can help us with that in a loving way. He can help us process through and acknowledge our stuff and say, okay, I accept this and I can move forward before you know it. Nathaniel slips in and the whole path starts opening up for you and you'll see a lot of rapid progress. But you need to do it with love and compassion. If you are being so hard on yourself about jobs or relationships or things, these patterns that seem to never work out and it's you and you're doing the victim thing or you're doing like, I suck, I'm a failure, blah, blah, blah. You're going to be stuck in that. It does not help. Time to move on because you just have to say, I'm grateful for those lessons and learning that about myself. How do I move forward? And sometimes we do need help. Sometimes we do need to find a really good counselor. Sometimes we need to find it, get a good reading. Maybe we need to find that podcast, find that book. That's when you work with your angels and guides and say, okay, I admit it, but I'm, you've got to be grateful for the lessons. Sometimes we're like, whether you're 17 or 70, the truth is, if you're getting that at any time in this lifetime, progress, you rock. It's awesome because that's what you're here to do. You're here to say, okay, I got it. I understand I am doing this pattern, these things, or this isn't working. Let me admit, maybe I've outgrown it. Maybe it's not time. Maybe it's me putting my fear-based stuff into it and creating it, self-sabotaging it. Maybe I just need to step back and do a bit of a life review, do a bit of some research, do a little bit of uh, therapy on it or something. Work with Archangel Jeremiah and say, please show me 
while I keep reoccurring these things in my life so that I can move past them and be the wonderful light worker, friend, mom, dad, sister, brother, relationship, partner, spouse, significant other, whatever it is, be the best human and you that you can be by just simply being willing to accept it, let it go, and be grateful that you figured it out because talk to thousands and thousands of people through readings. And I'll tell you, not a, pe a lot of people figure it out. There's many a time when I hang up and go, yeah, but it's not me, right? <laughs> They're like, uh, it's always us, but it's not always not somebody else. Like just FYI, it's all of us in a situation. We're all in the same soul contract to learn from that situation. But if it's a theme and you feel like you're banging your head against the wall, against the same theme or the same lesson, it is time to figure it out. And Jeremiah could totally help with that. And as soon as you do and you just move past it, it is amazing. I came from finance administrator and miserable my whole life to this full time blessing of getting to help you guys do the work. Be happy and content almost every day for the most part. I think you start to really be kind of chill and realize it's going to work out. It's OK, mostly because I got it. I'm sure every day I face things, still have my stuff, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of stuff this year. For some reason, I am also going through a lot of stuff. But, I mean, it's not as serious and not as dreadful and angry and frustrated as it used to be because I'm like, all right, first and foremost, I go, okay, what do I need to know about this? What do I need to figure out about it? And I know I can ask my angels to help. So usually goes faster, usually goes better than if I had tried to take it over myself always. I'm an Aries, so I usually try to bowl through the china shop through things, but I don't really do that as much anymore. Once in a while, but Jeremiah and Nathaniel can help you open up that door to life purpose, so let them. Let them just be like, all right, I'm giving up. You guys figure it out, and if you need clarity, just ask for clarity. They'll bring in another sign, bring it in a different way. You can always ask for clarity. You're never bugging them. They are happy to help. They're all about love and support. They never look down on you or have negative emotions. Angels do not. They are too evolved for that for sure. And they are too loving of your experience and you to judge. So they never judge. So just keep asking for clarity and they will bring you the next sign until you get it. And things open up for you and you figure out your life's purpose. It's usually having to do with service or helping others in some way, whether it's a corporate job, whether it's a light worker job, however it happens when we are a service to people in any way to make somebody else's life a little better or happier, and it resonates with you, it usually is your purpose and it will you'll get more of that the more you do it. Okay, have a blessed day.